Welcome to my GSPN Live. You're here with your host, Robert Brown. And Jose Rodriguez. A very upset Jose Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to jump right, right into the show. It's going to be a shorter show, but as you know, it the World Cup has started, and it's what's going on right now, so let's dive into it. What's going on right now? That's what it is. Currently Spain, but before we get into the game going on, uh, we want to talk about Russia and Saudi Arabia. They opened everything up. They had an opening ceremony. This game started off in Russia as the host nation came out and had an absolutely phenomenal opening match, uh, beating Saudi Arabia five to nothing. No, uh, cool three, Kevin. Though, like you said, Russia beat Saudi Arabia five zero. Now, Artem Dzuba, you know, Denis Cherachev, these guys, you know, scored three goals for Russia. I get it was a blowout game. You didn't expect. I mean, personally, I didn't expect it to be five zero. No. I knew that we're gonna win against the Republic of Saudi Arabia, but I did not know it was gonna be a blowout game like this. It kind of reminded me of. The Germany Brazil game back in the last World Cup when you know obliterated Brazil. You weren't expecting that. I wasn't expecting. I was expecting like a 1 0 win. You know, both maybe. teams. I, I, I want to say Russia is bad, but I want to say they're also good, if it makes any sense. You know, if it, I personally think if it wasn't for them being the host nation, I don't think they would have qualified in this, you know, World Cup that's going on right now at their home nation. But now to the next game, which is Egypt. They lost. 1-0. This game actually happened uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, the game started at about 7 a.m., 8 a.m., so more up early. Probably didn't catch it. <laughs> uh, Mohamed Salah, everyone knows from Liverpool, he got hurt. He plays for uh, the Egyptian team, but you know, with his injury, he is available to play, but they did not play him. Uh, we knew he wasn't going to start. Thought he'd sub in, especially later when the game was still you on know, the line. They still could have won this game uh, uh, before before Uruguay scored, um, but they decided not to go with him, hopefully to rest him a little more, and they can hopefully still get out of group play. Not you know, sure. I mean, I, I feel like they played it smart. You know, Uruguay mm -hmm. being one of the toughest teams in their, you know, group right now. They're ranked right now with FIFA number 14 exactly. overall. So. You know, they got, they got pretty good forwards in Cavani and, and Luis Suarez and yeah. that, but, you know, Salah is, in my perspective, the top five best players in the world right now, and without him, they don't have a shot of winning or even getting out of their division or round or whatever you call it that yeah. they're in. So play, I think they played it smart, gave him an extra day off, and the next time they played, they better put him on the lineup or he's not gonna be, they're not gonna be yeah, honestly, This game could've got a lot worse. There was mm -hmm. uh, Suarez had an opportunity early in the game that he missed. Uh, Cavani had a couple good looks that, that hit the crossbar and came out, so. You know, it was a one nothing game, but it easily could have been 2-3, 4-0. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, moving on, we have Morocco-Iran. Uh, the last game to finish. We've got one game going on right now. Uh, Jose's a little excited for what we're trying to get to. Um, but Morocco loses to Iran 0-0. Uh, or 0-1, to one, I'm sorry. Um, and it was an absolutely fantastic game. Back and forth, Morocco looked fantastic. I think these are the two lowest uh, ranked teams in FIBA. You know, playing against each other. I don't know how they got in the same in the same group, but you know, one of these teams will be gone. But it was a great game. You know, yeah, to, to you know, watch the set up for the Spain game. I agree. You know, I I Iran is going ahead. You know, mm -hmm. Morocco, great talent. All these Northern African teams uh, have great talent, but Morocco cannot match what Iran brings to the table. But not only that, you know, the game that's going on right now, Portugal versus Spain. These, these are one of the top two teams in the whole FIFA this is like rankings a right now. Championship match right oh, here. Easily, you know, match. Portugal, they have the number one player in the world in Cristiano Ronaldo. And Spain, they have one of the most complete, you know, teams in the whole World Cup. I'm telling you, Spain by far has the most, you know, accurate chemistry when it comes to having yeah. complete teammates. Half of this team plays for Real Madrid, and then the other half plays for Barcelona, which they meet half of the time of the season when they're playing against each other in La Liga. So again, you know, I don't see any other team except for Portugal, as you guys may know right now, is up 2-1 at halftime. And, you know, I see, I'm, obviously you see the Spain jersey, you know, I'm really, really, really going for the Spain team right now. I know they can do it, they have more talent, but they're going to get the best player in the world. And he's he's proven why he's the best okay. scoring both their goals. And, I, and, and that's fair, but you know, so I can make it into more sense to you, I'll give you a basketball, you know, example. Look at the, league, the, the last finals that happened. Golden State LeBron, you know, I say Cristiano Ronaldo, it might be the LeBron James of soccer right now. You know, the number one player, the most complete player right now. But it is a team sport, you know, it is 11 players and it is one ball not 11 players and one person. So I feel like right now, 
Cristiano Ronaldo still has a you know a shot maybe to win. They are up two to one, but it is a long game with 90 minutes, and they can go to penalties if it is even tied up, which I see it at the extreme going into that. That's fair. Uh, well, we want to give you our studio picks real quick before we get out of here. Um, my pick to win is Brazil. I mean, that might be kind of you know a giveaway of them having the best odds right now to right. win, but with Neymar, with the pieces that they have, they're my pick. Oh, I agree. You know, another team, actually, I'll rephrase it, another team that has better chemistry than Spain, it might be Brazil. Because these guys, you know, it's in their nature, it's in their blood, and they're just amazing and fun to watch. By far, I think they're, they're going to be the team in the whole World Cup with, with the most um, amazing feats and, and tricks and, and cool stuff to watch that everybody's going to be. Could definitely be the most entertaining. Exactly. They're going to have the wow effect, yeah. as I like to call it. So it's going to be pretty awesome to see. Uh, in our studio, um, our two producers, Isaac and Marcel. Isaac has, uh, has picked Portugal. They're going on right now. And uh, Marcel, along with me, has also picked Brazil. Jose, I mean, you can guess. He's going for Spain. Uh, I don't have them winning their group, especially with what's going on right now. But, you know, we want to get back to that action, and we'll be updating our website and updating you on um, on the win and the rest of this World Cup. So, yeah. any student athlete that would like to be featured on our show, please send us in any videos to videos at mygspn.com. Again, this show today was brought to you by Garden Grocer. If you're coming in in the Orlando area for any vacation purposes, please go to www. GardenGrocer.com to go and check out all your needs for groceries, snacks, beverages while at vacation to save money, time, and eat what you want while on vacation. Uh, we thank everyone for tuning in. As always, we encourage all our student athletes to go to www.mygspn.com, sign up for a player profile page, and follow us on all our social medias so we can get interacting with you guys. Uh, we thank you for tuning in, and we'll get back to you with more updates on the World Cup. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. We'll be back to the game.